YouTube. It is 6.15 on a Tuesday. I just got up. I'm going to try to get to the gym by 7. It is chest and delt day. See ya. Alright, 7.15. I just got to the gym. I'm always freaking 15 minutes late, seems like. So, uh, I think I need to start doing my meal prep, my breakfast and my lunch the night before. Because I always try to do that in the morning and it just takes a little longer than it should. So, anyway, I'm about to go in here. Try to hit it real hard. See ya. Okay, this is day... I don't know what day it is, but it is chest and delt day. Phase 2 of Chris Jones 4 day on, 1 day off program. Uh great so far you know I think incline bench for starting this off is one of my favorite exercises I just you know you just can't beat the feel you get in your chest doing this I think I did four sets of six to ten was the goal most of them I hit eight then you have the option of doing flat bench or weighted dips and I thought well why not change it up did some weighted dips uh, again, it was four sets of six to eight. Um, it's a great exercise. I really, really feel it in my chest. Especially when you lean forward like that more so. You don't even have to lock out at the top. Just really squeeze that chest and go up and down. Next, went into high to low cable crossovers. Um, this one's kind of new to me, but uh, so far it's been feel, feeling really good. Um, then low to high, same thing, kind of kind of new, but uh, it felt great. And both of these exercises were three sets of 12 to 15. Um, I just I try to go for I pick a weight where I'm hopefully gonna be. If I hit 15 easy, then I gotta go up and wait, you know what I mean? I mean, hopefully I'm just spitting for that last rep at 12. And that's, that's kind of how I like to do it. So far it's been working pretty good. And you can see at the end here, I kinda, you know, I just wanted to squeeze out more reps, so I got my number, and then I would kinda just let the tension off, rest for a second, then go for another rep go for another rep. This of course I think was my last set of doing this. Then into chest flies. You know, I mean who doesn't love this machine? Um, it's a great way to finish off your chest. Uh, you get a great pump. Um, this was my first set here. I don't know what it was but it felt a little bit light. You know, it was just moving pretty easy so I went for you know, quite a few reps and went up and wait for the next one. But uh, always feels great doing this exercise. Now we are moving into shoulders. The Arnold Press, one of my all time favorites. And with shoulders, I've, um, I've had to back off the weight, you know, I was kind of starting to cheat. I feel like I was arching my back way too much and just, just cutting corners to push as much weight over my head as I could. So I've backed off the weight, tried to keep my core stable, keep nice and vertical and uh, you know it's been great. I've been feeling my shoulders a lot better. Um, so hey, that's the way to do it. These cable lateral raises. They're kind of new to me, but you know, they felt pretty good. Um, I think I'll keep doing them. I definitely felt it in my, felt it in my delts. Now, I have changed the way I've been doing my lateral raises. You know, I used to have quite a lot more of a bend in my elbows. I'd kind of use more momentum to get that weight up and I could go a lot heavier when I did but you know when you do that you're using a lot of other muscles you're not targeting those lateral heads of the delts as much as you could be so I've since I've backed off the weight 
kind of had my arm straighter, really focused on it. It's, I've been feeling it quite a bit more actually. Now, rear delt. My favorite rear delt exercise is definitely, I think that rear delt machine, the pec fly machine backwards, whatever it is, or, or even just bent over rear delt flies. But uh, after doing this a couple times, I mean, it's definitely a, a close second, I think, for a favorite. I definitely felt this. I did, I think I did three sets of eight to 12. I'm not positive. It was either three or four. And uh, good exercise. I definitely felt it. This is another exercise that I definitely have kind of, you know, I've backed off the weight and uh, really tried to focus on just doing it right and really trying to build that mind muscle connection, you know, just thinking about that muscle that you're working and it, uh, you know, I can't say whether it's made a huge difference yet in gains. I haven't been doing it that long, but it definitely feels better. So you'll have to just follow along with me and uh, we'll see how it works out. It definitely feels right though, you know, and that's really all it's about. You just got to keep experimenting and just, you know, find what works for you and um, hey, if it's working, keep doing it. Anyway, after this, I think I went into Smith Machine shoulder pressing. Which, you know, is kind of different for me. Usually I do my big compound movement at the beginning, then do the isolation movements afterwards, but kind of switched it up, did it backwards, and I, I liked it, you know? The idea is time under tension and overloading the muscle, so even though you can't go as heavy, it, it still works. That was the workout. I'm gonna have to run if I wanna make it to work on time. See ya. I just got to work. Workout was awesome. Ate my breakfast sandwich on the drive over. It was two pieces of bread, four eggs, four slices of turkey. Uh, I also had two scoops of whey protein, 12 ounces of milk, one banana. All right, time to go cut meat.